my name is Don Dagenet. I'm one of the volunteer preview speakers for the Lyric Opera Guild, and I'd like to welcome you to this short preview of The Daughter of the Regiment, which is going to be on stage at the Lyric Opera of Kansas City beginning February 19th. I need to tell you a story about the background of this opera. Uh, back in the late 1950s, early 1960s, there was a tremendous soprano from Australia whose name was Joan Sutherland. She had a magnificent voice, and her husband, Richard Bonding, a conductor, trained her to sing in the very difficult roles of bel canto singing of the Italians from the early 19th century. Uh, she triumphed in these roles and managed to restore and resurrect many operas which had been forgotten for decades and rescue them from the dustbin of history so they could be performed once again, and she became a world-famous star. However, Joan Sutherland had a problem. Her problem was that although she was a great singer in these roles, there was no tenor who could match her on these on stage in these performances. So she and her husband undertook a sort of search to see if they might be able to find a tenor whom they could train to be her partner in these extraordinary operas. Um, they found a young Italian fellow, and in 1965 they brought him to Australia, and in a tour of the Australian hinterlands far from the glare of publicity, they trained him to sing in coloratura opera. And uh, Richard Bonding later joked that he spent most of the summer watching this young tenor with his hands on his wife's stomach, trying to figure out how she developed this incredible breath control which supported these long, flowing, gorgeous phrases of Belcanto opera. Well, the short story is he figured it out. And the two of them later went on tours of all the world's great opera houses, starring in these spectacular Bel Canto productions and uh, to great audience acclaim and bringing these productions back to current audiences so that we could enjoy them once again. The high point of their resurrection of these operas occurred in 1972 at the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City where uh, the opera on stage was The Daughter of the Regiment, the opera the lyric will be performing. And The Daughter of the Regiment has an extraordinarily difficult tenor aria, which requires the tenor to hit nine high Cs. Now you need to know that the, the high C is sort of the summit of accomplishment for any tenor. It's an extraordinarily difficult note. Most tenors would shy away from a, from a score that even had two or three of them during the course of the opera. And here, Donna said he asked the tenor to sing nine in the course of a single aria. Well, when this tenor stepped on stage and rang out those nine high C's, absolutely it brought down the house at the Metropolitan Opera, wave after wave after wave of applause, and solidified the fame of Joan Sutherland and her partner as the greatest bel canto singers of the age. And they went thereafter from triumph to triumph all over the world, both becoming world famous. Now, you've probably guessed by now that the tenor I'm speaking about was Luciano Pavarotti. And Sutherland and Pavarotti starred in many, many great bel canto operas, including this and all the world's great houses, and brought this opera and others back to the attention of modern audiences. Now, I'm sorry to tell you that neither Joan Sutherland nor Luciano Pavarotti are still with us, uh, but a whole generation of singers after that, inspired by them, have trained themselves to sing in these very difficult coloratura roles, and as a result of which we can now enjoy operas like Daughter of the Regiment once again. Uh, and the Lyric Opera has hired a couple of these outstanding young singers to star in this production. Um, the story of the Daughter of the Regiment is absolutely silly. It's a story of a foundling girl who's discovered by a regiment of soldiers and raised in a military tradition with them. Uh, she's fallen in love with a young soldier in the regiment whose name is Tonio, and of course he's the tenor, but it turns out that a lady of Parisian society, the Marquise de Birkenfeld, shows up on the scene, and she claims that the foundling girl actually is a member of a noble uh, Parisian family. And so she takes the girl and tries to reintroduce her into high society. And the second act of this opera has one of the funniest scenes ever written, where uh, she puts this young tomboy in a frilly dress and tries to introduce her into society. And it's just one of the funniest things you've ever seen. I should mention, by the way, that the role of the Marquis de Birkenfeld in this performance is going to be sung by Joyce Castle, a legendary singer, now in the later stages of her career, but a fabulous mezzo-soprano, now on the staff uh, faculty of the University of Kansas this conservatory music who is coming over to the Lyric Opera to sing this role and, and it'll just be a great, uh, I'm sure, a great experience on stage to watch her. So, uh, The Daughter of the Regiment, uh, one of the great comic operas, you will leave the theater humming the tunes, uh, laughing at the jokes, marveling at the singing you've just heard, and it'll be a, a fun, delightful evening at the opera. And I hope to see you. Tonight.